and you're watching American Graffiti Lives on ModestoNews.org. Hi, I'm, I'm here uh, with uh, Danny Wingert, and he's got a 66 Mustang that he's going to talk about. Uh, it used to be a coupe, and now it's a drop-top uh, convertible, and uh, we're going to uh, look it all over. He's going to discuss all the stuff that he's been able to do to it, and it's a beautiful little car. You're going to tell us uh, kind of what it was when you got it, and what what was done to it? Now, did you buy this like this, or did you make it like this? Well, actually, it was a it was a customer's car, and he brought it to me because it really he had the, it was originally a '66 coupe, but it was a coupe, right? Yeah, so it had the, a hard top. Well, coupe. when he brought it to me, the roof was already cut off. Oh, okay, and he right. had 22 inch rims, and it was way up in the air, and pretty much we had to he had to tow it over on a trailer to my place because you couldn't drive it. When you open the door, the car would start to oh, break in half. Wow. So we, you know, got a plan, and then pretty much after a while, he started realizing it was going to cost a lot of money, and then um, I just um, took the car out from underneath him, and um, I worked on another car for him. But then um, I pretty much subframed the whole car, subframed the whole car from the front to the back to give it strength. So you do this work on your cars and other people's cars as well here in Modesto, or yeah, in Modesto, I got a and my business is Danny Boy Floyd Custom okay. Fabrication. Um, you know, it's pretty much, it's, I do original work, put it restoration, but I do a lot of the modified stuff. Right. And then, you know, I've had this car six months, I've been just testing it, you take it out on the road and you realize, you know, it didn't, it's not turning right, or the tires are rubbing until you get it right. And you have other cars besides this one now that you're Yeah, I got the all these time? ones okay. right here. Actually, those are my cars. On the, my back okay, so that looks like a 70 or 71 Firebird. What is that? That's a 70 Trans Am. It's trans, I'm Trans Am Firebird, and, and here you got a Ford uh, Mustang That's Coupe. That's a 67, 67. Uh, convertible. And then you got a 56 or 55, 55 down here? 55 yeah. Chevy. Um, Long actually, and ball. then you have a nice Chevelle. And you're selling yeah. a Chevelle, you said? Yeah, I'm getting too many yeah. of them. Okay. They won't fit on my shirt. Yeah, this, good, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna... the motor of this actually, I got the drivetrain out of a 5.0, a later model Mustang, and same with the roof. And I fabricated it to fit onto a 66. So I actually I took the motor and the tranny, which is an overdrive tranny, out of that. I bought the car; it was rolled, and then um, started fabricating it over to this car. This is actually the hood scoop off of a 60 or off of an 80. 80 convertible Mustang. Okay. And this is the motor, which um, it, they were fuel injected, but I didn't want to change all the wiring over. So I, Ford. so I put a regular, uh, you know, it's got a Holly 600 on there, and then I upgraded the ignition. And I actually left all the AC and all these belts on there, the serpent belt. Later on, I want to actually hook up, uh, you know, AC on it. Now, how, how much horsepower are we talking about? This is actually this a motor? stock, uh, stock 5.0 motor. Okay. So yeah, so they're it's pretty good about, though. 5.0. Yeah, 5.0. And I've had a little trouble because yeah. it was a fuel injected motor, okay. switching it over, and just you know, it's a lot of tuning and stuff to get it to run. All right. Exactly right, and then the disc brakes was a must because it wouldn't stop. And one thing you don't have to do with these, so we're talking about here, is get them smogged, right? Yeah, there's okay. no smog. Okay, so that helps you when you're working on them, right? Yeah, and this, you know, the car was kind of, I probably got $7,500 in it, okay. and it's been, you know, six months. Right. And um, Are you going to take it to some shows uh, in the near future, in the summer? Yeah, I take it to shows. shows. Actually, yeah. I got a couple of awards on it, believe it or not, just for fabrication stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. it's pretty much been fabricated as far as um, the windshield had to be cut like three inches. And that's And then drop down to make the top fit. And then uh, the side skirts are actually off a six or off a, a 99 Grand Prix. I custom fit those, so it appears like the car is lower, but it's really not. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it does look that way. So I, it's just kind of an added effect. I had some other stuff on there. I just kind of, you know, then the windows I fabricated. This, these are the original wing windows. And I took yeah. the windows, I've already done that one over there. See how it's all glass? Mm -hmm. right. That's actually okay. out of the other Mustang. Okay. And the top, actually the way it works is you open the door here, these open up. The complete then, roll bar inside. And then the roll bar for the top to go up, these slide, you pull this out, these slide down. Oh, okay, gotcha. This goes forward, then the top goes up. And this is actually off of the later Mustang. It actually fits, I uh, fabricated okay. it to fit right on So there. you got it uh, kind of weather tight then? If yeah, it, uh, but I want to make it a, a little bit weather tight. I've had a couple sets of wheels on there. I actually, to get that big a wheel on there, I had to move the leaf What sprays. size is that? Uh, That's okay. a 20. It's a 20 in the back, and then okay. it's an 18 in the front. So they are pretty large wheels. Yeah, and, you know, and actually these, believe it or not, they don't rub. I mean, 
Okay. I had to move the leaf springs in to get to accommodate for that tire, but you know, I chewed up some tires just getting it to work, though. You know? yeah. But I mean, I could, it actually performs, which I like having a car that actually. Well, it's you know, a nice works. bright color too. It shows up, so you. you, you yeah, can, I you painted can't hide it real e quick. Either car, you can't hide from anybody with either car. So that's uh, that's you gotta you gotta you can't get away. really be uh, that people will be looking at you and giving you a little thumbs up and stuff. Yeah, know, when so. I got it, the guy had some white stripes on it, like the like uh, Ford stripes, but he had them wrong. So I and I'm a painter, so everyone yeah. would come up okay. to me, man, those right. stripes are wrong. So I had to just well, I had to do a quick paint job on it real quick just to get okay. a... On the inside of your uh, your seats and your dash These now. are out of the later model Mustang and then the gas pedal is off uh -huh. my drum set. That's uh, oh, okay. a drum set. Yeah, the gas drum pedal. set, okay. gas pedal. Uh, right. I like doing little touches like that. And your um, transmission is a what? It's an overdrive tranny and then I got the B&M shifter okay. on there. All right. Actually, the, yeah, the glass on here. Um, this is off of V28. I've been fabricating the back wing. Uh, and okay. this is pretty much, this is off the T-Bird, off the back window piece. Yeah. And I mean, I just kind of play with it, see what looks good, or kind of reaction I'll get out of people, you know. You know, and... And um, it's uh, originally a 66... 66 Mustang Coupe. coupe. Guys, how's it going? It's Mr. Tarman here, and you're watching Modesto News Dodge Park. Oh!